The S pipe. Why are some pipes under sinks shaped like the letter S? Suppose your sink drained into a straight pipe, so the waste fell straight down to the sewer pipe. If some of the waste got stuck to the side, it would smell after a few days. Nothing would stop that stinging smell from coming back up into your rooms and into your nose. To prevent rodent smells from getting into your rooms, engineers and plumbers use S-pipe. At all times, there is some water in the bend to keep the unwanted gases away. Water can't drain away from the low part of the bend without flowing uphill. The S-pipe is called a trap because the water it holds traps smelly gases and keeps them from coming out of the pipes. So here is your S-pipe shaped like the letter S. Why wet a water slide? Whenever an object rubs against a surface, there is a frictional force. Friction produces heat. Try rubbing your hands together. It warms your hands. On a very long slide, on a very long slide, the friction between your skin and the slide can rub, burn, or scrape your skin. Water flowing down the slide makes it more slippery and prevents this danger. If two people slide from the same height, the person with the water on, this, on his slide will encounter less friction and will reach the bottom faster. Very obvious, right? So the water helps in many ways. So weight and size, why is the hippo swing about to fall? Every mass on earth is attracted by every other mass. Let me say that again. Every mass on earth is attracted by every other mass. The attraction between one earth creature and another is too small to be noticed. So it's still there, but we don't feel it. The attraction between the planet, Earth, and a person, however, is big. Weight is the force of attraction exerted by the Earth on an object. The more massive, large, and solid a person is, the greater is his weight. Hippo's great weight is too much for the branch to carry. The small mouse keeps swinging, but the hippo has already broken a branch. Big brother Taya at the back cannot lift up a full grocery bag. Yet little Maya can easily push a full cart forward. Why? Pushing and lifting involve different forces. When Taya lifts upward, the opposing force is gravity, acting downward. It takes a lot of strength to lift the weight of that heavy bag. Pushing a cart on wheels is much easier. Maya, needs, Maya just needs to push forward hard enough to overcome the opposing force of friction. The rolling friction is very little. Friction is the force between the cart's wheels and the floor as they slide past one another. If the wheels turn easily and the floor is smooth, there is not much force of friction for Maya to overcome. A cart that is too heavy to lift or drag can be rolled easily. Aren't wheels a great invention? So it doesn't take much to push a cart horizontally if you have wheels. But vertically, you have to do work against the pull of the earth, the gravity. Coat hangers. When you hang up your clothes properly, the hangers line up straight. All right. Well, if you're sloppy, the hangers stick, stick out in odd ways. Why? Hang one pair of pans at the right end of a hanger. This will turn the coat hanger clockwise in the direction of rotation of the hands of a clock until the weight lies directly below the hook. Now put up a pair of pans at the left end of a hanger. This causes a counterclockwise turning. We have a third option. When you put your pans in the middle, the weight hangs directly below the hook and there will be no rotation one way or the other. This is called rotational equilibrium. 
your mother calls it much more tidy. So this is making the coat hanger rotate clockwise. This is making the coat hanger rotate against the direction of the hands of the clock. So this is counterclockwise. This is what we call, your mother calls tidy, or in physics, we call it equilibrium. What good is a steep roof? I'm sure you know the answer for this. A roof does the job of keeping your house dry in rain and snow. On a flat roof, the snow piles up and the rain can puddle. Soon you may see leaks in your living room. If it snows a lot, the weight from the snow can even cause your roof to collapse. To, pre to prevent wet weather damage, make your roof as steep as possible. But then you are adding cost. Water runs off quickly if you have a steep roof. Water runs off quickly and snow slides off easily. Water always moves downhill, never uphill. So when it comes to roofs, steep means dry. Time toss. Can you tell how fast your ball goes when you toss it straight up? If you throw a ball vertically up and catch it on the way back, there is a simple way to find the speed at which you throw the ball. Your answer will be pretty close, approximate to the true speed in feet per second. Start by counting how many seconds the ball is in the air. If you say 1001, 1002, 1003 and so on, that's a pretty good approximate measure of the seconds. If your total up and down flight time of the toss was 3 seconds, you multiply 3 times 16 and you get 48. So the approximate speed at which you threw the ball was 48 feet per second. That is nearly 33 miles per hour. What a toss. Just remember the formula. Speed in feet per second is equal to number of seconds times 16. Headdress. Why is the cat's neck bent out of shape? Suppose you are stopped in your bumper car and another car runs in you from behind. Crash! Your head tries to stay where it was, but your body follows the motion of your car as it is rammed. So your lower body gains momentum and moves forward, while your neck arches backward. This can cause whiplash or even break your neck. Ouch! That cat is going to have a sore neck. Good thing the mouse is shorter. Her head, her head rested against the back of the seat. Her neck didn't snap so far back and the impact was cushioned as well. In a real car, the headrest does the job of pillowing your head and keeping your neck from overextending. If you have any comments, I need to get in touch with you. Or you can get in touch with me and I will get in touch with you. hdtvedu at gmail.com Again, thank you. A hard copy is available. Please contact us by email. hdtvedu at gmail.com Thank you for your support. Thanks again.